Okay, here we are, Titan Machine Tool today. We're doing a little grinding. We're back on the Jones and Shipman Model 1400 grinder. And we got a hunk of material in there. Uh, some A36 hot rolled. A big old hunk of it was flame cut or plasma cut off a big ass sheet. And we're squaring it up. I rough, rough milled it square. Took off a bunch of material. Not the ends yet, haven't cut the ends yet. But we did the thickness, we're doing the width. I rough milled it all in first, I slapped it on the grinder, ground one side. Made it nicey nice, flipped it over, ground the other side. Brought it into the width, the thickness that it needs to be. It's two and five eighths thick, so we're, we're like uh, 2.625 and five or something like that. Good enough. It's more so for the fact to keep them looking really, really sexy looking surfaces and nice and flat. Parallel more so than flat, but either way. It's nice to work with when the block is nice and ground square so that when it sits in the vise, it doesn't want to lift up every single time you close the floating jaw. So a nice square block is better to work with. So anyways, that's what we're doing. We're going to square the sides now. We're going to make this side perpendicular to this side. Now I don't have one of them fancy grinding fixtures that you use for squaring, squaring block. Herman Schmidt makes one. They're expensive as hell. I don't have one. This is what we got. So this is what we're doing. We have a nice angle plate back there, a knee, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure if it's a uh, it looks an awful lot like a suburban tool, but can't be certain on that. Came with the equipment. Anyways, it's nice. It's a nice ground, knee, angle block, whatever. So we got that baby stuck to the chuck. And that makes our square corner right there, our 90 degree perpendicular surface so that we can bank up against. So we use one of the surfaces that we already ground this way. We already ground both these surfaces, so they're parallel to each other within like less than half a thousand. So now we want to put this surface up against something that we know is 90 degrees. That knee is 90 degrees. Good enough for what we're doing here. So now that's stuck to the chuck by magnet. We got that stuck on the chuck here with the magnet. And this big old hunk of material is magnetic as well. We want it to clamp to the knee face, and we don't want these existing surfaces sticking to the chuck. So I stuck an aluminum shim underneath there. It's like a, a parallel. See that underneath there? So that rises that big old block off of the, the chuck so that the magnet doesn't want to overcome the clamps or cause the knee to want to cant and tip and stick this to the chuck versus the bottom surfaces of this knee staying stuck to the chuck because that's creating the 90 degree corner there. It's making the 90 degree corner that way. So that we know is square. We clamp our block to the knee with the cant twists. So now when we grind this top surface, this top surface will be square to these two surfaces right here. Then after we cut the clean, it's about eight thousandths to come off in total. So we'll take about four thousandths on this side. I already touched it. Make sure that uh, the block's not tipped one way or the other and you don't touch over here and you're taking 10 over here. I have a surface gauge that I can put on the chuck. It's brass and I can sweep the part with an indicator to check it, but there's no real estate and the arm on the uh, surface gauge isn't long enough to get over the piece. So I can't really check it. So I checked it with the wheel. I brought it down, I touched in the middle, I zeroed out, I backed up 10 thousandths. I turned the feed on so that it started going back and forth and then I slowly brought the wheel down until it started to touch. And if it would have hit on one side way earlier than the other, I would have known it was tipped probably more than I wanted it to be. But I did inspect that shim underneath there. I checked it with the micrometer and it's like within 1,000. So it doesn't have to be super precise. It just has to be pretty decent so that you're not taking off too much on one end versus the other end. 
because you're gonna flip it over when you're done. And when you flip it over, I don't even need to stick it to the knee anymore. I'm just gonna stick it right to the chuck because I know this surface will be parallel to these two surfaces over here. So we just flip that guy over, stick it to the chuck when we wanna do the other side, and then we just grind it into the, to the width. So this is the only setup here that we're gonna need the clamps for. And once we cut that surface to clean, then we're good. So we'll make a little bit of sparkage here before we end the video. Cooling time, come down one thousandth of an inch, go. I rough milled this block in on the on the mill machine. I checked the head. I squared the head to the machine to make sure that it was pretty square. So when I did this part and I cut those surfaces, they weren't going to be out of whack. And that was 1,000. So I know my head is pretty square because it didn't even take a thousand to clean that surface. So we'll take a couple more thousands here. Like I said, I got about eight to come off in total. Take another cut over here, but as you can see, that surface is almost clean already. Got a little spillage there. I do have the guards. This thing's supposed to have guards on it to contain the coolant. You know, I got a piece that drops in over here. I got them over there. Leaving. I got to fix it. It's got these little clamp things that hold the back shield in place, and one of them broke. It's all rotted out. So I'm going to cut these things off, and I'll screw. I'll put some screws in it, or I'll put some PEM inserts or something in there and see what we're going to do. And then I'll put the guard back on. But this big shield back here usually goes on there and contains the coolant and keeps it from splashing all over. So that was that, two thousandths and this surface cleaned up. So it was pretty square to start with. I'll take a couple more. And then like I said, when I do the other side, we take the shim out, we take the knee off, the angle plate, whatever you call them. No more clamps needed. And then we just bank that surface right on the chuck, stick it right to it. And then we'll grind it into whatever the finished dimension is. And then that block will be square. These sides are parallel to each other, perpendicular to this surface, and then these sides also will be parallel to each other, within less than a half a thousand, probably. I'm not trying to uh, split tents here. You know, if I'm within one and they look fantastic, the surface finishes are nice, it's more than necessary. All right, Titan Machine Tool signing off. Nine minutes in. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like the video.